everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you guys have asked for a makeup collection. I'm going to make it into a series because I have so much to get through. But today we're going to start with a foundation collection and without further ado, let's just get started. So I thought I'd start with like at random, but I'm going to start with my makeup revolution ones. I have the revolution conceal and defines here. Yes, I have three. I'm terrible. So I have one in the shade F2 for when I have my winter skin. F4, so I'm like going in between tan. And then F7 for when I'm like kind of tan. And, but to be fair, like the shade, these two, the F2 and F4 are still really pale. I love this foundation. It's a dupe for the Huda Beauty foundation. The coverage is amazing. It retails for £10, which is actually a bargain. And it also comes with a wand, which I find so much easier to apply on my face. It's a lot less messy. But if you're looking for a completely full coverage foundation, it is amazing. And personally, I find it works well on my skin. I have like normal to dry skin. Never had a problem with it. I've loved this foundation for years, so I always keep my stocked up because it is just so good i'm definitely gonna be wearing it more in the winter because i literally sworn by this foundation since it came out this one i kind of keep as backup it's not my favorite because i'm going to be honest with you guys this is the revolution conceal and glow it's a medium to full coverage it's kind of buildable it's got vitamin e in it and it's like a more illuminating one a glowy dewy one you name it i actually got my two pale this is actually f6 but it's still really pale it's a pump one it's not bad like like it's not horrific but it's not my favorite I don't know it's kind of one I'd use if I'm running low or something but haven't used it for a while so I just keep hold of it it's also very fair for f6 so like at the moment it's not gonna work with my skin because I have tan on but I do love the packaging as well I do like the packaging I was really excited to try this and I was a bit like mm, it could have been better but I do love the glowy finish it does give and then another one I used to love is the revolution pro foundation drops I use this more now to mix with other foundations to make them lighter this is the shade f2 so you can imagine how pale my foundation used to be I've had this a while now but it is literally drops you can use them as lightning drops as well I personally find it's worked well and it hasn't ruined the coverage of other foundations this is quite a good buildable coverage and this retails for around six pound i want to say but i've always liked these i think they're very good um i probably would pick it up again and then the next one i think this is my last revolution one i've bought no it's not a lie this is the revolution foundation sticks in i have it in f10 look how mangled that is now um I can't say I've used it for a while. Um, F10 still is like the color I'd use to fake tan. It sounds like it's gonna be really dark, but honestly, it's actually not. Coverage is amazing. I know a lot of people that love the foundation stick and they love the coverage. It retails for around five pound, which isn't bad. Um, I used to swear by this. I do have it in a few other shades. I don't know if they're in my drawer or whether I got rid of them in the end. Let's have a look. I do have one here. What shade is this? This is an F5, so this one's a little bit lighter. So that one looks more lively um yeah i do love these foundations though they're sort of backup ones again i think i used f10 more for contouring because it was slightly too dark but it was on like the damage section but there was actually nothing wrong with it at the time it kind of melted through the heat at home so i picked it up for like two pound instead of five which isn't much of a bargain but it is also a really big bargain and um yeah i've kept it for contouring and it does work really well for that that's another one if you're looking for a good full coverage foundation and it does work well if you use the right primer I want to say this is the last one I actually bought of theirs. This is the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation. It's got SPF 30 in it, which I love. It is a very, very, very sheer foundation, like very sheer tint because it's more of a tinted moisturiser. And I've got to admit, it actually came this thin pretty much. So Revolution, what's going on with your packaging? Like, And I've got mine in, did I even say the shade? Does it say the shade? F5.7, so it's like a kind of medium tone. And I'd say it's more on the light side. It is still very fair if I remember yeah it's still very fair so if you're fair skinned I'd go for this sort of shade um, I used it a lot over summer because it was too hot to wear foundation but I still wanted that bit of coverage and these retail for around eight to ten pound but I do love the packaging as well literally believe most of these are drugstore yeah they are I'm such a drugstore queen I love a drugstore foundation the next one I've got excuse the mess on it it's just you know how makeup gets when it's sat in a drawer is the Barry M fresh face foundation it's got hyaluronic acid in it and vitamin C and when I take you this is really lightweight as well it is really lightweight it's not a full coverage it is very sheer again i love the packaging i was just dying to try their new foundation to be honest sorry my phone keeps going off i thought i had a message um 
yeah, I was dying to try it. And to be fair, it's not bad. It's one I'd probably wear again more in summer because I love a coverage more at this time of year, especially as my skin gets more patchy and red and blemished um, throughout the cold. But this retails for around six, seven pound. It is not bad if you're like new to makeup and starting out and you're younger as well. I'd recommend trying something like this instead of going straight for something more full coverage like the Revolution Conceal and Define. Um, this one would probably work a lot better. This is by far my favorite skin tint, especially over summer i swore by this i'm definitely going to pick up another this is the l'oreal skin paradise the tinted water cream in the shade oh gosh i don't know if it has the shade on it medium yeah i got this on depop for like five pound but it had never been used so i was really happy i love this it gives a gorgeous dewy finish it has like a medium to full coverage it also gives enough coverage so you feel good with it it gives a lovely glow i cannot fault this it's gorgeous and the packaging is so nice as well i'm definitely going to pick this up again i literally am obsessed um i got mine in the medium because i wore more tan over summer and obviously my skin was a bit more tan anyway but i literally i cannot fault this i highly recommend having Having this in your makeup bag another one i got on depop over summer is the florence by mills um skin tint this is the like a light one it is i think i got this in like an lm lm60 so it's like medium again i love the foundation i love the coverage i love the creamy consistency it's actually a pump believe it or not but jesus christ it smells like crayons and that's what kind of put me off wearing it more regularly because it smelled so awful. I can't lie to you, like it's lovely. I just really wanted to try her line and this is so nice apart from the smell. If you bang in the smell, you're fine. You can't smell it once you put it on, but when you're putting it on, you're like, oh my God. You class it as high end, I'm not really sure. I got this again on Depop for six pound, which is a bargain. Um, I've still got loads to use in it, to be fair. I think I might just give it another go. It's also cruelty free and vegan. I'm unsure of how much this retails for, but I swear it's like 15 pounds. Imagine I got this for a pound in damages just cause the top was like unsealed. So I just, you know, retaped it up and it was fine. This is the Barry M Instant Blur Body Foundation with vitamin e and aloe vera it was my perfect shade i was like it's asking for me to buy it so i bought it first the sizing this is 10 pound but it's amazing it's lightweight it does give an amazing coverage it's so good if you do like body art like you know chest wise and um i literally cannot fault it it is really nice coverage i haven't used it often because i don't do body art but i might use it as an everyday foundation i might actually give this a go again because i feel like it's one of those foundations that i should give a second chance to yeah it's actually really nice and it smells really nice it smells like a really nice moisturizer and it is very hydrating so anyone with dry skin that wants a foundation that will last them i definitely think this tube is gonna last you a while okay this bad boy i picked up in poundland and it is the bourgeois city radiance um tint oh my god let me have a look i'm trying to find the shade it's in golden sun so it's a little bit dark so i do lighten it but i thought it's a bargain and it's a classic so i'm gonna mix it up with a lighter foundation and honestly it is so nice i forgot about bourgeois because obviously we don't really get it in the uk anymore it's no longer in boots was it even ever in Superdrug? It was, wasn't it? And um, yeah, I literally love this foundation. So I did use this quite a lot. It's a really good coverage as well. And it is also very buildable. You can probably get this on Amazon as well. So I check that out if you want to give it a go. Fun fact, obviously my mum used to work for Estee Lauder in Clinique. So she used to tell me all the, the like tea and all the snazzy things when I was younger. Did you know Bourgeois is owned by Chanel? And Estee Lauder's, Estee Lauder's cousin is Mac. I just thought it was really cool and a really random fact for you guys to know. Anyway, one of my drugstore go-tos that I absolutely adore is actually the MUA Pro Base Foundation. I get mine in 146. I love this. The coverage is insane. It's kind of a dupe of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Obviously, that's quite pricey. It comes with a spatula. Don't worry about Don't panic when you see it come out like this because you don't need to use that much. It's a weird spatula thing. But... I think I'm on my third or fourth bottle of this. I am obsessed since it come out. And for five pound, if you're looking for more coverage foundation and you're younger as well and you don't want to spend a lot, this is one I'd highly recommend trying out. It is really good. I also know a lot of people rave about the Primark one. I have tried it previously, but not for a long time. But I know that's a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is also an amazing coverage one. It's vegan and cruelty free. And for five pound, 
I don't really know where you can go wrong. On the topic of MUA Cosmetics, you've already seen my haul, you already know about this one. They kindly gifted me their new Pro Base Foundation Stick. I have this in 130 because that's what I had the powder in. I need to get a new powder from there. I love their powder. Um, the coverage is amazing. If you haven't seen my TikTok on it, go check it out. I did a full face of MUA makeup and I loved it. I'm actually really surprised. Although it came with a brush, I actually used a sponge because I just found personally it blended better. I've never really liked working with brushes. I kind of go through phases of it but I've been using a sponge for years now um, the coverage is amazing these retail for five or six pound and they are so good they're so easy to apply they're so creamy easy to blend and if you want to try a foundation stick out I highly recommend it they also sent me a darker shade so I can use it as contouring which I currently have on and it works really well I highly recommend trying them out as like contour and foundation because they work really well together as well this is another classic I found in Poundland but I never actually tried it when it was in store I cannot remember for the life of me if you can still buy it in a drugstore. This is the Maybelline's Dream Velours Foundation. Oh my god, it is so, oh my god, it's so good. I actually got this in sun beige because that was the lightest they had. So obviously, again, I was lightening it with lightning drops. But to be fair, it wasn't even that dark. It is, I believe, matte based, but with the right primer i found it wasn't too bad on like normal to dry skin it wasn't actually like patchy or anything although the only thing i found is because it's an old school one obviously the shades back then weren't as great so it was a little bit tiny bit on the orange side but you can tone it down with powder and whatnot but it's actually not bad and i just wanted to try it so i thought i'd get it and poundland is a pound you've wasted it's not that bad oh my god where did i get this from for a bargain i think it was Depop. Yeah, I re-bought it on Depop because I got it from Sainsbury's because the lid was broken and the pump thing, you had to hold it down when you pushed it instead of like, you know, you had to pop it back on and off. And I loved it. This is the Maybelline Radiant Liquid Foundation in Nude. Honestly, it's like a medium to full coverage. You can like build it up again. It leaves a lovely glow. It is a good coverage. It is good for dry skin as well and it's worth the money. It's so nice. I love the consistency. I love how it blends. This is sort of more my everyday one which I wear to work because you know i don't want to use my favorite ones and like waste them but yeah i definitely love this one it's like my favorite kind of everyday one at the moment so i've been using this one a lot okay this is my all-time favorite foundation like drugstore whatever so far this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear this is not the matte one this is the dewy one i am in love i always get mine in 140 because i always wear tan my god my skin do be glowing it looked gorgeous and it does last like it literally does not budge all day i used to wear it all day when i was running about when i worked at Superdrug, and honestly my foundation was still flawless at the end of the day and i loved it i used to come home and film tiktoks and my skin still looked fresh i loved it i love it so much i can't even like get this foundation i cannot justify how good it is the coverage everything the blendable like consistency also has a yellow undertone which is great for my pink blemishes you can also get pink undertones for those that have yellow like undertones in their skin honestly the whole range is amazing i personally think the shade range is great the only downside is they do test on animals that put me off a bit but i really wanted to try this and also tiktok made me buy it this is one of the things that tiktok made me buy and we all know when you buy something on tiktok sometimes it's a huge letdown and they just make it look amazing or it just doesn't work for you another one a makeup artist on tiktok recommended to me is the maybelline superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation now i bought this a while back and i fell in love with it she was was not playing when she said she uses this on like her clients it is full coverage again it lasts it's amazing this retails for 10 pound but i actually got a brand new one on amazon for six pound last week this is a top up of it because i ran out i bought one about two three months ago and i'd run out because i used it every day i love the coverage it's amazing on dry skin as well and it just it gives you such a flawless look and it lasts so if you're working anywhere it's gonna last on your face if you need something give this one a go i really highly recommend it okay question for my makeup gals and guys out there do you think 15 pound is a lot for a drugstore foundation because personally i do it's drugstore for a reason like milani is like an in-between one same as more i'm not sure if it's high-end or drugstore it's like those in-between brands because they're not expensive but they're not really cheap either but i got the nyx can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation i am in love it has yellow undertones again it is more mattifying though i found i don't know if that's just me or maybe it was the powder i used on top at the time um i love the fact it has yellow undertones but it's a little bit too yellow in certain lights so you have to be careful what lighting you use when you're wearing it and um 
if you're like me and you're filming but i do love the coverage this was fantastic i actually again got this for five pound on depop so i was really over the moon it was full brand new when i bought it as you can tell it's very loved i need to give them a wipe really but i love this foundation if you wanted to try it and weren't sure whether to spend the money on it i highly recommend you do because it is worth the money again i think i saw this on tiktok i believe strawberry hayes uses it she was like a tiktoker who's quite big and um yeah she was not messing around when she said recommending this because it is so good so my weird ass always wanted to try the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, but obviously it was originally made for oily skin, so it wasn't gonna work with mine. It was mattifying. I don't like matte foundations, and matte foundations don't like me. And then I found this not long ago, the Maybelline Fit Me Luminous and Smooth Normal to Dry with Vitamin E um foundation i actually got this again on amazon for six pound last week and i fell in love with it i currently have this on i think god do i no i had it on for halloween and it lasted all the way through the night um this has sunscreen in it it is in buff beige because obviously i wear tan my god they were not messing around i love this i love the consistency maybelline really do good with their foundations for the price as well and like the quality i literally cannot fault them this is another one for normal dry skin i recommend i don't know if it's in drugstores yet i haven't seen it in boots but you can get it on amazon i don't know if it's one of those ones that's released in america oh my god i need the new maybelline eraser foundation my god it looks so cool i just need it to try like if i get it i'll try it out for you guys because it's so cool it has like a big sponge on it and i just it looks cool and i haven't seen it because it's like a us thing so we'll check out amazon i have seen it on there for about 10 pound might be a few pounds more but that's not that bad but anyway i do recommend this i really do i am in love with this foundation and i'm loving it more every day we are coming to our last one girls if you have seen my video already and guys if you've seen my last video you already know run to boots the number seven stay perfect foundation is five pounds at the moment they're having like i don't know if it's a clear out or a sale like a flash sale but it's the stay perfect foundation and it does give you such a flawless look i'm glad i picked this up i wanted to try this for so long um i've seen a lot of people recommend it and i was like i don't know i've not really been a number seven fan ever i thought it was more for like elderly skin i don't know like more fragile skin but actually no i was completely wrong i take that back it's such a good foundation it leaves a lovely glow and for five pound you're not really at a loss you're definitely not at a loss put it that way i think it normally retails around 15 pound so it's worth giving you a go while it's on offer i am obsessing over it anyway that was the last of my foundations we are going to do concealers and powders next i feel like they can be done in one video what do you guys think anyway let me know your favorite drugstore foundations down below because i'd love to know which ones you guys like and dislike and i'll see you guys in my next video bye